your mount with your March 2022 mini tarot reading. Sorry about that. Uh, let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Happy St. Patty's Day to you all. May blessings rain down upon you and your family of bringing you joy, abundance, whatever it is that you need and wish for. Um, let it be yours. Let's see here. And also, just a reminder, it's March. Okay, here in the States, it means the spring equinox. And I believe I called it something else in another reading, forgive me, um, is here. And on my calendar, it says March 20th. A good day to plant some seeds. Look at where you want to go. Just a reminder, do what you want to. And, and you know, check it out. There's lots of uh, information out there on the spring equinox. But it's really a time to let yourself shine and make plans for the future. So let's see what else we have here. Oh, please remember this is a general reading. If you'd like one just about you, I've included my website down below, soulstarbliss.com. And I've also included another place you can book me, which is readings by Judy, J-U-D-I-E dot com. Uh, I've partnered up with her, with Judy and Tim. They've been friends and colleagues of mine for years. We've been doing some healings and we've been doing some classes. We've been doing some readings. We've been doing all kinds of things together with her and the rest of our team. And uh, please check them out. They have awesome readers there, and they also have lots of products that I think you might be interested in or find something there that you certainly could use. So with that said, Libra, wow, it says, okay, how do I say this? It seems like the, some, some disruption from the past, and I'm talking major disruption, you know, like the tower card. It seems like a big storm had come, and whether that was last year, year before, 10 years ago, the waiting is over. It seems, you know, you've been putting yourself in a spot that you can't move forward. And it just looks like opportunities may present themselves this month for you to see, like, you know, you've carried around a burden for a long time or forgiveness or a healing or, or you know, and if it's grief, you know, there is no time frame on grief. I don't, I, I just have, I just read something the other day. Grief is like a scream inside that nobody can hear how perfectly, uh, that was said. I, it just really resonated with me. So if it is grief you're carrying, do your best that you can to let yourself be healed at least a little bit to, to make some decisions for the future. It says that abundance is yours if you want it. And abundance, most people go to money right away, but it can be joy, bliss, and ease. It can be health. It can be happiness. And of course, it can be money also. It says that there's going to be a change. Wheel of Fortune is definitely coming up for you. And I feel that this that is this month. I don't know if it's, it's something to do with you were taught before or learned before, or it's um, something that's going to change at work. I think it's all of those things for different people, you know, different things that are going on. Magician says you've asked for something. Now you're going to have been being presented to, and you definitely are going to want to make a choice on something and choose what's best for you. That's your best course of action, it looks like, is to choose what's best for you. If it brings you peace, joy, bliss, and ease, maybe that's what you need. But don't choose something that you want, that you think someone else wants you to choose, if that makes any sense for you. Because excuses are gone now. You need to do what's best for you. There's been things in the works for you, that feeling of being alone, even with people, I feel there's going to be, um, like, it's going to get better. It's, it's like, that's not going to be so often if that makes any sense. And in the finance area, it looks like there is definitely improvement coming for a lot of you. And that makes my heart happy because I, I just understand how difficult it has been, you know, for the last year or two or more for people. And it says what we've learned, let's take that with us and hold on to that. Your intuition is high and right on the money, but the hard part is to believe it. You know what I mean? And it says, once you start working with intuition, you can treat it like a friend. You know, make it prove itself to you. Just, you know, if it tells you to jump off the bridge, that'd be kind of a foolish thing to do. If it says to give all your money, take your money and light it on fire, it's probably not your intuition. So learn to work with that, trust it, train it. And, you know, and I just don't think it'll lead you wrong. It says some of you, somebody, well, this is probably for more than one person, but it says if you had a disagreement, an argument with somebody, they're ready to make up. They're having a hard time coming forward and say, yeah, I screwed up. If you reach out, I have a feeling that you're going to be able to mend something bigger than that argument. It's, it's bigger than that. So think about that. And if you have the courage to uh, put out the white flag, reach out and help or offer or talk, I, they're going to be receptive to uh, speak with you and even work on getting forgiveness on both ends.
Ace of Wands prominent today, uh, the, the meaning of it is new beginnings are possible this month. Beginning of a journey, beginning of a family, beginning of a business, just beginning of forgiveness. It's just a really good time for beginnings. Those of you that are wanting to travel, guess what? Yes, it's about time. <laughs> Feeling locked in somewhere, you're going to be able to move. You're gonna, well, some of you may be moving, but this is more about travel. And I feel like those opportunities are going to be there for you. Also choices, big choices this month that are going to affect more than just, you know, how my day goes or how I pay my bills. I just feel like there's big choices for you. So be open to that also and make the choice about you. And you know, if you don't get a yes answer right away or a no answer right away, maybe it's not time to make the choice. Stop giving your power away. And I think this has to do at work. You can still say no if you're being overloaded, overworked. You know, you can just, and it may not say it mean, but just say, I can't get to that today or tomorrow or whatever, however long it's going to take for you to get it done. Focus on you. I just feel like some of you are just really throwing yourself into work to be oblivious to whatever's going on around you. I really feel this is a month where things definitely do start falling into place. So get ready, ask for help, and then get out of the way and let it come. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you so much, Libra, for dropping by, and I'll see you again next month.